Thank you. Everybody, please have a seat. We get, we got some work to do here. This is not all fun and games. <laughs> Welcome to the White House, everybody. Uh, today, we celebrate extraordinary Americans who have lifted our spirits, strengthened our union, pushed us towards progress. I always love doing this event, but uh, this is a particularly impressive class. <laughs> We've got innovators and artists, public servants, rabble-rousers, <laughs> athletes, renowned character actors, like the guy from Space Jam. <laughs> uh, we We pay tribute to those distinguished individuals with our nation's highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Three minutes before Armstrong and Aldrin touched down on the moon, Apollo 11's lunar lander alarms triggered. Red and yellow lights across the board. Our astronauts didn't have much time, but thankfully they had Margaret Hamilton, a young MIT scientist and a working mom in the 60s. Margaret led the team that created the onboard flight software that allowed the Eagle to land safely. And keep in mind that at this time, software engineering wasn't even a field yet. There were no textbooks to follow. So as Margaret says, there was no choice but to be pioneers. Luckily for us, Margaret never stopped pioneering. And she symbolizes that generation of unsung women who helped spend, uh, send humankind into space. Her software architecture echoes in countless technologies today. And her example speaks of the American spirit of discovery that exists in every little girl and little boy who know that somehow to look beyond the heavens is to look deep within ourselves and to figure out just what is possible. Margaret Hayfield Hamilton. A pioneer in technology, Margaret Hamilton defined new forms of software engineering and helped launch an industry that would forever change human history. Her software architecture led to giant leaps for humankind, writing the code that helped America set foot on the moon. She broke barriers in founding her own software businesses, revolutionizing an industry and inspiring countless women to participate in STEM fields. Her love of exploration and innovation are the source code of the American spirit and her genius has inspired generations to reach for the stars. According to a recent headline, the movie Sully was the last straw. We should never travel with Tom Hanks. <laughs> I mean, you think about it. You got pirates, plane crashes, you get marooned in airport purgatory, <laughs> volcanoes. Something happens with Tom Hanks. And yet, somehow we can't resist uh, going where he wants to take us. He's been an accidental witness to history, a crusty woman's baseball manager, an every man who fell in love with Meg Ryan three times, <laughs> made it seem natural to have a volleyball as your best friend. <laughs> From a Philadelphia courtroom to Normandy's beachheads to the dark side of the moon, he has introduced us to America's unassuming heroes. Tom says he just saw ordinary guys who did the right thing at the right time. Well, it takes one to know one. And America's dad has stood up to cancer with his beloved wife, Rita. He's championed our veterans, supported space exploration. And the truth is, Tom has always saved his best roles for real life. 
He is a good man, which is the best title you can have. Thomas J. Hanks. Throughout a distinguished film career, Tom Hanks has revealed the character of America as well as his own, portraying war heroes, an astronaut, a ship captain, a cartoon cowboy, a young man growing up too fast, and dozens of others. He's allowed us to see ourselves, not only as we are, but as we aspire to be. On screen and off, Tom Hanks has honored the sacrifices of those who have served our nation, called on us all to think big and to believe, and inspired a new generation of young people to reach for the sky. 